Hello, so in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your computer to use React Native. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to this web address that you see on the bottom right end of the screen and download Node.js. Just click your computer, then you're going to double click on the file that downloads, and then just follow the process of installing it, um, the application like you would any application. Um, hitting the continue and agree and all of that. Um, it'll take uh, just a few minutes to install it and then you hit close when you're done. Um, but then you're going to have to open your terminal window and you can pause this, but you're going to need to um, put in this command, the npm install global expo. Um, you may run into an error. I'm just uh, putting this here because this is kind of common, this pr uh, permissions error. Um, if you do, you're going to want to pause this and put in these two commands, the sudo commands that you see, and then run the npm install again. And it should go for you, uh, it should install well for you at that point on. Uh, you'll just get a couple warnings, but there shouldn't be any errors. And then you're going to go ahead and put in npx create-expo-app, and then give the name of your app. I just put in my first app. And then uh, it'll take a few minutes and you're going to get to a screen that has the QR code and you're ready to go. You... Let me step back for a second and just, so this was the command that I put in to install the a React Native um, new project. And this is the name of the new project. You can name this whatever you want. Um, you just have to put in this uh, to create it. Um, we're using Expo, that's why that says that. And... Um, so anyway, this will create a folder and in that, um, wherever you, um, whatever directory you're in, I happen to be in my desktop when I did it. And so there was a folder on my desktop. Um, you can now you know, use your editor of choice. I'm in visual studio here. I'm going to go to open and I'm going to go to desktop. And we're going to find, I created a, a folder called RN for React Native. And there is the folder. You see there's different assets, tons of uh, modules in here that are kind of uh, created for you. Um, and then the, the one we're going to take a look at is this app.js file. I'll open that. Um, and you, you see like this is your first uh, right here it says open up app.js to start working on your app so let me let me show you though um, how you can kind of use that is uh, so I'm just going to run the web based one you can uh, take a uh, use your camera app on the iPhone to open via the QR and it will open the expo app um, you have to download an expo app first I should say it's free app um, in the App Store, um, and and then you can use it and see it. That way, you'll see how it looks on your phone on a native device. Same thing with Android; it gives you the directions right here for how to do that. Anyway, I'll just run the the web one so that we can look at this together. So we'll say um, npm um, run web that. And it's uh, building up the whole thing. It popped up over here. I'll bring this over so you can kind of see it. Hold on. So this just popped up. And then you see that matches what we have here. Um, and if I change this, it should change for us. My first React Native app. Hit save here and you see it updated there so you're up and running with react native i'll have future videos on on some cool stuff that you can do with react native but i wanted to share that with you uh, in case you're interested in using it let me know if you have any questions thanks